So I just want to, you know, sometimes we talk, talk about, come on, come up here, come up here, come up here. Okay, you get in here real quick, say hi. Hi. That's my baby. That's Ivana. So, uh, mommy's gonna do this video real quick, okay? And then I want you to go in there and talk to your dad on the video, and I'll be with you in a minute, okay? Okay. Thank you. Can you pull that door behind you? Okay. Thank you. Give me sugar watch. Give me sugar watch. Mm -hmm. Okay, go in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, go on. Thank you. So, I just want to talk about being authentic and being transparent and just being real. And I want to talk about that because, you know, when I spend time with the Lord, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. I want to be authentic with Jesus. I want to be transparent. I want to be my real true self because he knows us anyhow. So it's like, I want to take it off. I want to just bear myself, bear my soul, bear all my pains, bear all my hurts, bear all everything, give God everything that I have in that moment. You know, because sometimes we go to God artificially, you know, with all our stuff on and with all our, you know, our, our, makeup and our hair and our jewelry and our nails and uh artificial heart you know because no matter what we go through in this life no matter if we say we're far from god we're close to god we're getting closer we're a saint uh, uh if we say we're growing we're maturing no matter what we all have hurts we all have things that come against us we all have people who come against us we all have someone who's not liking us and talking about us we all have family drama family trouble uh you know we see this world we see the the death the murders the you know the just this world it's it's a mess and so we all go through something. And so I just want to talk about being authentic with the Lord, bearing everything, giving everything in this time. And even I think about on my YouTube channel, like I, I'm just tired of the, you know, just in this moment, I really want to bear myself, you know, um, because I think somebody out there might need that. You know, that it's okay to love who you are. It is okay to be you. It is okay to take it off if you don't want to wear it. You know, as far as, you know, sometimes we cover up and dye our hair because, oh, we look too old and we don't want to look like that. And what people are going to talk about is, you know what, that's just nonsense. I'm learning a lot as I get older, and I'm only 49. I'll be 50 this year. I spent too much time worrying about with what other people are thinking about me, uh, how I look to someone, you know, and whether they're going to judge me or not according to how I look or according to how beautiful I look to them. But God showed me something. He showed me that I'm beautiful. I'm the apple of his eye and he loves me. And I don't have to pretend. I don't have to do none of that. You know, um, because in the end, it is about where I'm going to spend eternity. And uh, whatever God says for my life is that's what it is. And um, I just wanted to, I, I get, I get, I get in this place when when I when I have my worship, my time with God, and when I'm just bearing all. It's so humbling. It's so, you know, it makes you not want to even go back to the way you were. You know, it, it just makes you like, like you're just getting closer and closer, you know, and you're always striving for that feeling or always trying to chase God because you want to be closer than the way you felt moments ago. And, um, 
You want the realness of God. What does that mean to us? You know, is it just going to church? Is it just going to church and going to different conferences and functions and clapping our hands and running around shouting? Is it that? Or what is it? You know, I mean, I'm looking for deep the things of God, the things of God. What's pleasing, really pleasing to God, you know, what he's really requiring of me. And in order for me to hear his voice, in order for me to understand God, I feel like I have to be very authentic. I have to bear my soul. I have to get in this place more so, more so, more so than I've ever been, which is just being me. You know, loving who I am um, in this time of my worship, you know, and um, just really spending quiet, quiet time with God. Nobody else, and, you know, and, and blocking out all the negativity and blocking out all the phone calls in the, in the social media because I started doing less of that, less of the phone, less of the social media, and it's it's done wonders to my soul. It's it's just blessed me, and I just feel like I, I'm just getting closer to God. You know, I feel like I'm denying what I want. I feel like I'm denying my flesh, denying the things that make me feel good or that, you know, stimulate me. And, and it just makes me feel so, I don't know, it's a whole different feeling, and and I just feel like I'm getting closer to God and I want to stay there, <laughs> you know? Um, this is not about being no earthly good or anything like that because I'm still doing YouTube. But I just want to come off on YouTube as being a little bit more real. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be in this season not desirable to anybody because I just found that Jesus is fulfilling me. And I and I spent so much time thinking others can do it. Others can do it. And um, people can do it. Places I go, things I do. It's not it's not so. It's not so. It is God Himself that will fulfill your desires, your your needs, your wants. You know, I go to him and he comforts me. You know, the Holy Spirit just comforts me. And uh, it's so beautiful. And so uh, if you're watching this, find time. There's not no finding time. It is you put this time before anything else. And this time, this place of worship with God, getting on your face, getting in God's word, studying his word, you got to just... Even put down the phone. Don't pick up the phone and Google nothing. You get you a dictionary. You get you a dictionary. You get you a Bible. You get you a Bible. You get you a study book if you got to do that. Okay? You get you a pen and a piece of paper and you just begin to study. Just say, I'm not going to Google nothing. I'm putting my phone away. Because when you start Googling, it leads to other stuff. It leads to you, then then you're Googling this, and then you see this ad and all that. And I'm not saying nothing that's funny or exotic or nothing. No, it's just, you know, what somebody else is doing. Or they got something on the news ad, the news break or something. And it, and it draws your attention. So, And then spend that time when you after you get that word in you, then go worship. Lay prostrate before the Lord. Put on some heavenly musics, whatever your worship is, not the hip hop stuff, the worship, and just begin to lay there and, and um, thank God for everything he's done for you. And uh, even when you're not in a place where you really want to be, thank God, because you know that all things work together for good to them that are uh, that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Uh, just meditate on that and just tell the Lord you need him, how much you need him each and every day, each and every hour and minute, second, millisecond, you know, 
Thank him. Thank him for being able. Thank you. Thank the Lord for being able to chew your food and swallow and, and have your eyes where you can see and have your brain where you can think. Because I know somebody who have half a brain right now. And uh, so I'm just saying. I'm just saying this is me. And, you know, maybe on the next video, you'll see my hair done. But for now, this is the way I wanted to come. And I'm thanking God. I'm thanking God. I love the Lord with all my heart. And I want to love him more. And I'm, I'm just seeking, seeking uh, his face, uh, living holy. I want to be in that place. Because we never know when it's our, our day or our time has come. And God calls us home or wherever we should go. I mean, you know, I don't quite understand everything. But we want to be ready so we'll live in eternity with the Lord. Because I do believe there's a place of fire. I do believe it. And uh, I believe the Bible. But our goal is to get closer to the Lord, seek Jesus, what God requires of us, how to really live and enjoy life, but how to get our life right, how to get our soul right. Not by what everybody else is doing and saying and how they look on social media, just what's right, what, what God is requiring of you in your own personal life. You know, seek out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling is what the Bible says. So uh, that's all I have for you. I'm just encouraging you to seek the Lord. Worship God in spirit and truth. Learn what that means. That's all I have for you today. I love you with the love of the Lord. I do this all in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessings and peace.